Hello everybody and welcome to a special video. So today I'm going to do a video about the four days battle. I battled during the second Dutch Anglo war and this might be a long one so I suggest you uh, pause the video, get some tea, some popcorn, coffee, whatever you prefer, get some refreshments, sit down, relax. So essentially this is going to be in two parts to give both you and I a break. A break if needed so the first part is going to consist of the commanders the fleets and the flags of the battle and then the second part is going to be the battle itself itself so yeah let's start so to preface the battle in the early 17th century as we all know the Dutch were very good at trading they dominated the world trade and a certain nation didn't like that, good old Britain. They wanted to be the dominating traders. And uh, the English competition to the Dutch, they wanted the British to do something about it. And what they did was they uh, passed the Navigation Act of uh, October 6th in, I mean in so October 1651 which required that English export be carried only by English ships and imports could also only be carried by English ships or the country of origin which meant that the Dutch were kind of left out since they were big shippers or big in, big in shipping and when Dutch merchantmen began to become uh, searched and goods confiscated and such, the First Anglo-Dutch War eventually break, broke out and the British emerged victorious and the Dutch were forced to accept the Navigation Act. However, the Dutch, they were not done. The rail weren't broken, they were ready for more fights, they were not happy, tensions were high, and eventually a series of incidents happened, which brought both nations again to very close of war. The British, they assaulted some Dutch garrisons in Africa in 1660 to 61. The English attacked the colony of New Amsterdam in 64. And the Dutch India East India Company were unwilling to hand over the spice and some of the spice islands in the East Indies as per pro, as what was promised in the peace treaty of the First Anglo-Dutch War. And eventually, after all of this happened, in fourth of, on fourth of March, sixteen sixty-five, war broke out yet again. The Brits and the Dutch were at it again, having some fun. So both parties wanted a fast resolution. Due to certain circumstances, the British having a poor financial situation. So they couldn't afford a prolonged war. They did poor budgeting, so their financial budget for 65 was spent within five months of the year. And the Dutch had another financial problem of different, different nature. And that was that their strength lay in trade, so they relied. And there goes my rudder. So they relied on the strength, or the financial, yearly or annual return of the, a fleet from the East Indies to uh, keep the economy going. And if that fleet were to capture or anything happened to it, the the war would be over for the Dutch. So the war was in swing. And it started off good for the British. At the Battle of Lo Lowestoft, the Dutch fleet suffered a painful early defeat in the battle, effectively forcing the Dutch fleet into harbour for the remainder of the season, the 1665, the remainder of 1665. And f following this victory, the Four Days Battle was the first battle which, well, happened. So, so this was basically... Uh, intro so the battle happened during the 1st to 4th of June 
with the English calendar at the time. I can't remember its name. And Dutch was 11th to 14th of June, so recently it was the anniversary, essentially. 350 year anniversary of the battle. Excuse me for that poor broad side. Use, though, that being said, since they used two different... Um, different calendars at the time, I'm going to follow Steel's post, which I forgot to mention, but Steel made the original post of this, and I'm just making this in video form. So, link will be in the description, and I recommend you take a look at it. It'll... It'll be in a readable format instead of this talk, some might prefer to read it rather than listen to me babble on about it. So I'll be following Steel style and I will be uh, using day 1, 2, 3 and 4 since if you didn't figure out the battle lasted 4 days, hence the name the 4 days battle. So, the introduction has been done, time for the commanders, let's meet the good old fellas who made the thing happen. So, in the British corner, we have Admiral of the Red, Albar Al Albemarle, Alb Alb Albemarle, something like that. The Vice Admiral of the Red, Jordan, Rear Admiral of the Red, Holmes. We have... Admiral of the White is Ice Q. Vice Admiral of the White is Barkley. Rear Admiral of the White is Herman. Admiral of the Blue is Smith. Sorry, no picture of him. Vice Admiral of the Blue, Teddy Man. Really, Teddy Man? <laughs> uh, maybe he was a cuddly fella. Looking at the picture, he's a bit chubby, so maybe he's cuddly as a teddy bear. And. Uh, Rear Admiral of the Blue, Utber. No picture of him either. In the green corner, I guess, we have Rupert, Minx, Allen, and Sprague. On the Dutch side, in the Dutch corner, the good old Dutch, after the death of uh, Jakob van Wasser Obdan, a certain Admiral, which uh, is uh, maybe a tiny bit famous in the Dutch history got uh, was the fleet commander and that fellow was uh, Michael Adrianson de Reuter and the command structure for the Dutch for the four day battle was as following so second squadron the leader of the vanguard was the Fries of the center it was Evertsen Senior I think I'm assuming that's what SR dot is the rear guard is uh, Bunkert for the first squadron, we have Van Ness in the vanguard, De Reuter in the center, De Liefde in the rear guard. In first squadron, we have Me Meppel for the vanguard, center is led by the Trump, and the rear guard is Van der Holst. Of course, De Reuter being the commander of the whole operation. That was the commanders of the battle. Some famous names there. Well, mostly the writer. He's obviously famous. So those were the commanders. Hopefully I remember to put all the pictures up. So now the flag system used by the respective nations. And we'll continue the trend. Begin with the English. So the English flags used by their respective admirals were... Red, Admiral of the Red, Red Flag, Admiral of the Blue, Blue Flag, Admiral of the White, White Flag, simple. So, to make a distinction, however, between Admiral, Vice Admiral and Rear Admiral, the English, well, they made a simple system, really. The Admiral would fly, the, the Admiral of the Red would fly a plain red flag at the mainmast, the Vice Admiral at the Foremast, and the Rear Admiral at the Mizzen. Simple. And Blue, White, Green would use exactly the same, except with their respective colors. The Dutch flag system was somewhat more complicated. 
So, the first, second, and third squadron were indicated via the use of Dutch tricolors as pennant at, respectively, the mainmast, foremast, and mizzen mast. So, the fourth squadron would have the foremast, I mean the mainmast, the second squadron, the foremast, and the third squadron, the mizzen mast. And to categorize the squadrons into subdivision, thus the vanguard, the center, and the rear guard, another two tailed flag was used. Next to the initial pennant carried at the main fore and mizzen mast, depending on which uh, squadron you were in, or I guess, yeah, squadron. And besides the flag used to categorize ships into quadrants and subdivisions, the jack and ensign used would also illustrate which admir admiralty they belong to. There's also specific flags like personal ensign, standard or royal ensigns used, which were are not included in this list. Now on to the ship. So this is where I recommend you go to Steel's post since I'm going to keep this rather simple. And I'm just going to name the ships. I'm not going to name cannons, kills, how many they wounded, how many guns. Well, I will mention how many guns, but I won't mention specific guns. And I won't mention who commanded the ship except for... Well, I guess since it's only the admirals which state we, uh, that are commanded or the higher ups so but I won't mention rate though or capture and such so still I, re I recommend you go to steel post again link in the description for the full story first off in the British corner we have the British with a total of 56 warships and four fire ships with the following ships. First off, it's the White Squadron. And we have Barkley in command of the Swiftshire of 66 guns. We have the Fairfax of 60 guns. You have the Yarmouth of 52 guns. Happy Return, 52 guns. Oh, also, if there's pictures or drawings of the ships, they should be popping up as I say them. Although it'll be quick. So if you want to have a better look at the ships. Again Steel's post. Happy return of 52 guns. John and Thomas of 48 guns. The Loyal George of 42 guns. The Seven Oaks of 54 guns. The Prince of 92 guns. Commanded by HQ. I don't know what's up with these British and their weird names. The Triumph of 72 guns, the Helverston of 60 guns, the Gloucester of 58 guns, the Crown of 48 guns, the Portland of 48 guns, the Unity of 42 guns, the Oxford of 26 guns, the Providence of 10 guns, that's a fire ship, hence the small gun count. Let's see, where. Uh, sorry, I lost. Ah! The, Hen the Henry, commanded by Herm Harman. The Rain of 72 guns. The Rainbow of 56 guns. The Anna of 58 guns. The Sealand of 40 guns. The Welcome of 36 guns. That was the White Squadron. There's a lot of ships in this battle. There's more ships in this in a single on a single side than there are total battles in a total people in a battle in naval action. So, time for the Red Squadron. We begin with Jordan in command of the Royal Oak, 76 guns. The Old James, 70 guns. The Clove Tree of 62 guns. The Dunkirk of 58 guns. The Matthias of 54 guns. The Marmaduke of 42 guns. And the Hound of 4 guns. She's a fire ship. Next up we have Albemarle. Le Albemarle, Albemarle, either way, you know who I'm talking about. In command of the Royal Charles, Charles, 82 guns. Next up we have the House of Swedes, 70 guns. Antelope of 52 guns. Golden Rated of 48 guns. Ruby of 46 guns. Sweepstakes of 36 guns. And next up we have Defiance commanded by Holmes of 64 guns, 
Saint or Andrew of 66 guns, Monk of 58 guns, Bristol of 52 guns, Black Eagle of 48 guns, Dover of 46 guns, Saint Paul of 40 guns, not the same, not the Pavel, this which we have in game, the Spread Eagle fireship of 10 guns. That's a lot of ships. But wait, that's not all. Next up we have the Blue Squadron. And in command of the Royal Catherine of 76, 76 guns, we have the Cuddly Man himself, Teddy Man. And we have the Unicorn of 60 guns. The Lion of 58 guns. The Loyal Subject of 56 guns, the Assistance of 46 guns, the Providence of 34 guns, the St. George's of 66 guns, the York of 58 guns, Newcastle of 50 guns. We have Utbird in command of Rupert, not the guy as far as I understand, of 64 guns. We have the Vanguard of 60 guns, the Golden Phoenix of 60 guns, Jersey of 50 guns. Baltimore of 48 guns and Catherine of 40 guns. And now for some reinforcements. And they joined the 3rd and 4th of June. We have the Corventine, Convertine of 52 guns, the Santa Maria of 50 guns, the Centurion of 48 guns, the Kent of 46 guns, Hampshire of 42 guns, and the Happy Entrance of 35 guns. Minx in command of the Victory of 76 guns. We have the Revenge 58 guns. The Swallow 48 guns. The Bonaventure 48 guns. Dragon 40 guns. Assurance 38 guns. Expedition 34 guns. And in command by Rupert slash Allen we have Royal James of 82 guns. The Henrietta of 58 guns. The Essex, not the same that we have in naval action. This is way before the time of naval action. We of 56 guns, the Leopard of 56 guns, the Princess of 52 guns, the Diamond of 48 guns, the Breda of 48 guns. Next up we have the Dreadnought, commanded by Sprague of 58 guns. We have the Plymouth, 58 gun, the Mary Rose, Mary Rose, 48 guns, the Reserve, 48 guns, Portsmouth, 44 guns, Amity, 38 guns. And that was the British! After some some uh, interlude, we're going to I'm going to be back with the Dutch. I need a little break. And welcome back. So I'm here in my snow, and uh, now we're going to talk about the Dutch ship. So I hope you enjoyed the little break. Got yourself maybe a new cup of tea or whatever. And I'll I didn't do it ahead of the previous one, but I'll do it now. I'm really sorry for rushing through the ships, but there's a lot. There's a lot. So the Dutch fleet is even bigger. Of which the Dutch ship has 85 ships. I mean Dutch fleet has 85 ships, six yachts, and nine fire ships. So here we go. Of the Dutch of the second squadron, we have the Fries. First of the Fries in command of Groot Frisia of 72 guns. Groningen of 72 guns, Prince Hendrik Casimir of 72 guns, Ostergo of 60 guns, Westergo of 56 guns, Elfsteden of 54 guns, Statenlande 52 guns, Princess Albertina of 50 guns, Omlandia of 48 guns, and Klein Frisia, Frisia of 38 guns. Next up, we have Everton Senior in command of Vel, Velgieren, I think, Valgieren, I think, of 70 guns, Bankert in command of Tollen, 60 guns, Everton Junior in command of Sirixe uh, of 60 guns, also apologies if I'm failing in pronunciation of these names, Hof van Zeeland of 58 guns, Middelburg of 50 guns, Flissingen of 50 guns, Kampferei, of 50 guns, Utrecht of 50 guns, I believe, yeah, Dordrecht of 50 guns, 
Stad Gouda of 46 guns. Heus de Jaarsveld, 46 guns. Star Foren, 46 guns. Star Foren, 46 guns, ja. Valken de Boei, 46 guns. Harde Wijk, 44 guns. Frigates, in fact, it looks. Ja, yeah, Frigates. De Zeeridder, 36 guns. Delft, 36 guns. Zeelandia, 36 guns. Schaak. Schakerlo, 36 guns. And then we have yours. The this hook of 6 guns. South. All the yachts are 6 guns. Southland, Westsauberg, Ostsauberg. What am I doing with my sailing? And of course, the fire ships, the Freiheit, Hope, and Rob. Rob, what a nice name for a ship. I have forgot this image. This video was in English with all of these names. Let's hope I don't forget. Next up, the fourth, first squadron. With the lead ship or the head ship or whatever. The Eindracht, commanded by Van Ness, 76 guns. Groot Hollandia, 64 guns. Princess Louise, 34 guns. Geloof, 68 guns. Söderhuis, 50 guns. Gaudeleo, 50 guns. Wapen van Nassau, 60 guns. Joshua, 54 guns, Hardewijk, 32 guns, Swall, which is a yacht, 18 guns, so she's small, and finally St. Paulus, well not finally, but St. Paulus, a fire ship of unknown gun quantity. Next up we have the Delft, 62 guns, Amsterdam, not the VOC ship, 60 guns, Deuvenvoorde, 46 guns. Goringem, I think. 34 guns and of course next up this is an important one quite a famous one the safe provincian commanded by none other than admiral de reuter of 80 guns so that would be one of the largest ships the dutch fielded during this battle smaller than the british largest ship as you might notice i believe the largest british ship was 92 guns the gelderland of 64 guns klein hollandia 54 guns wapen van utrecht 66 guns Vrede, 46 guns. Schiedam, 22 guns. Gouderuiter, fire ship, 2 guns. Next up we have the lifter commanding the Ridderschap, of 66 guns. De Wassenaar, 56 guns. Dordrecht, 44 guns. Provincie Utrecht, 64 guns. Stad en Landen, 60 guns. Raadhuis van Haarlem, 46 guns. Hollandse Teun, 56 guns. Wapen van Utrecht, 36 guns. Nijmegen, 34 guns. Le Lopende Hart, 8 guns. Uh, Jort. Rotterdam, Fireship, 6 guns. And finally, the third squadron. Which headed by uh, or the first ship in the list. West Friesland, commanded by Meppel, 78 guns. Pacific. Ficazzi, 73 guns. That's an odd number. And not in, well, both in that it's strange and that it's literally an odd number. Which is unusual on ships. Ships of that age. Anyways, let's continue. Macht van Enkhuizen, 72 guns. Jonge Prins, 66 guns. Nord Quartier, 60 guns. Celeb. Caleb, I mean, 50 guns. Three Helden David, 48 guns. Gelderland, 56 guns. Beschermer, 54 guns. Freiheit, 60 guns. Gouda, I like Gouda cheese. 72 guns. The next big, the next large ship of the Dutch, the Hollandia, 8 guns. Which is commanded by Trump. Kalentzoog of 8, 70 guns. Huis de Kroningen, 60 guns. De Venter, 66 guns. Spiegel, commanded by Van der Hulst, 68 guns. Reicher, 72 guns. Lifter, 68 guns. Huis Tides Verdrijf, 60 guns. Dom van Utrecht, 46 guns. Tromp, 46 guns. Kampen, 46 guns. Landman, 46 guns. 
son, son, I mean son, as in son, not child son, but son. Here comes the son, yada yada. 44 guns, Harlem, 44 guns, frigates, a couple of frigates now. Hardbeer, 34 guns, Overisel, 34 guns, Aspirant, 34 guns, Leist, 34 gun. Next up, a few fire ships, the Fortune, Cut, and Wappen van Engeland. None of them have any guns. <sighs> okay, so that was all the ships. All of them. Both the, the Dutch and the English. So this is my recommendation. I went through this list very fast for time's sake. For both my time and your time. If you want to know more about these ships, Steel's topic in the link below in the description. You can take your time looking at the pictures, looking at the amount of guns, what kind of guns they carried, how many they killed, how many they lost, etc. But either way, this is the first part and it's getting late. Mind. I'm going to keep on saying this because it's a really good topic on it. Steel's topic in the description. Excellent. He has his sources and all that. So essentially those are my sources going through Steel. And I'll be apologize at this point. Sorry for my shoddy sailing. I've been busy with the topic at hand. So I hope you will excuse my horrible sailing. This is basically just background footage. So I'll see you in a bit. Thank you.